It's time for the Twitter Crypto Recap with Jesse Couch. Melon Port. This is a strange one. I saw this on CoinMarketCap. Luckily, I saved this tweet showing me the previous total supply because now CoinMarketCap's showing that not only the circulating supply, but the total supply is almost doubled. Really strange, you know. I'm worried that they won't even have to pump because they just created more coins to dump. Library.io is the next coin I take a look at. I'm liking this one right here. I charted this one against the USD, but it's also looking pretty good against Bitcoin. The platform each year just keeps getting better and better. Also, it's getting faster. There's a strange video too from the founder getting arrested. If you want to check that one out, check out that tweet online. Also got the micro cap for you, only 50K Get you all of these coins, 16 Bitcoins for all the roulette coins. I checked out their GitHub Smart Roulette. They've got quite a bit of decentralized code for the decentralized roulette game. This surely has to be worth more than 50k, right? The good thing about micro caps that are this low, you know, it's 100x just if it can get to a $5 million valuation like it used to be worth when it first came out. Finally, I asked my fans, what kind of mining do you prefer? Me, I like them all. You want to get into all of them. They're all a great way to get into crypto. But my favorite for sure is proof of stake. Staking, it's the easiest one to do. If you know how to set up a node, you basically get it set up on a really cheap computer and it's going to run without issues for you all day, every day. Many of these staking coins even let you go offline sometimes and come back on and get your stake in then. That's all we got this week, guys. Make sure you click the subscribe button before you go. The Crypto Coins Show on YouTube, that's where you get the quality crypto information. And then head over to my Twitter, at Jesse Couch. Thanks for watching the Twitter Crypto Recap with Jesse Couch.